Before we move on to practicing slanted shapes, I wanted to demonstrate a couple more examples of drawing slants. And so I wanted to use these triangle slanted shapes. And let's start with this one over here on the left. And I'm going to start with this corner up here. And I'm going to go, I don't know, maybe over here towards my previous shape, giving myself plenty of room to the right and up to sketch this. And what do I know? Well, I know it goes down 1.25, which is 5 squares. And so I'm going to go straight down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to go to the right, 0.75, which we know is 3 squares. And so I'll go to the right, 1, 2, 3. And then I know it goes back 0.5 or 2 squares. And so I'll go back 1, 2. And then I also know that this goes back two squares as well because the depth doesn't change from the bottom to the top. And so I can say this is one, two as well. And that's all I know without including the slants, which I don't know the measurements of, but I do know the corners that connect. So for example, I know these two corners connect by a slant. And so I just have to find those two corners in my isometric sketch and then connect them with a straight line using my handy dandy ruler. And then I also know that these two edges also connect and so I will just connect them with my handy dandy ruler. And then I'm done with that first shape. And then we can give the second shape a try which is essentially the same shape just on its side. And let's start with this corner right here. And so, okay, I want to make sure I give myself plenty of room to sketch so I don't draw myself into a corner. And from here, what does it do? It goes to the right two or 0.5. So two squares, one, two. And then from there, it goes back 1.25 or five squares. And so one, two, three, four, five. And then it goes up 0.75 or three squares. So we'll go up one, two, three. And then it goes to the left. Now, this width has not changed. It is still two, just like it was two here. And so I go to the left one, two. And again, I notice that these two corners connect with a slanted edge. And so I just pull out my handy dandy ruler and I connect them. And I also recognize that these two corners connect. And so again, I connect them with my handy dandy ruler. I get the two corners to match up on here. Make sure they're lined up nice and neat. And I just bring it all together. And so anytime I'm drawing any kind of slanted shape, I always like to start with the boxed parts, the shapes, the parts that I know the measurements of and height, width, and depth directions. And then I like to add the slants and connect them after I'm done drawing out the parts that I know for sure. 